Overreaction. Texas coach Steve Sarkeesian should have left Arch Manning in the game from the second quarter on and Texas' 30-15 to 15 loss to Georgia. Yeah, 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 the screams are, why pull him, coach? Why pull him? Did you see his face on the sidelines? That's why you pull him. If there was ever a moment to capture, wow, this is a confusing ass-kicking, you could capture both Texas quarterbacks sitting on the bench looking out thinking, this is a dumpster fire. But why not leave the kid in? Why not? Reality. Hear me. That game wasn't as close as the score indicates. Stop. Stop. Um, If Georgia could catch at all, to be honest, it would have been a much bigger blowout. I counted up eight to ten drops. These are balls that hit them in the hands including one to close the game out that hit a guy in the face. They couldn't catch it all. So there's 8 to 10 drops, horrible drops on offense on the Georgia side. There were three on the Georgia defensive side that would have turned into interceptions as well if the guys could catch at all. They couldn't. But there's more to it than that. It was more lopsided than, than just that. That would have certainly... You know, massage the score a great deal, but there, there's more to it than that. You've also got the stupid idea from the head coach of Georgia who decided, look, dominating a game up 23 zip. Why don't we start the half with an onside kick? Yeah, that's genius. That went well, gave Texas the ball and life, a short field and life. And they took advantage of it for a few minutes until, well, till they couldn't block again. So, um, Otherwise, Georgia beats Texas much, much worse. The the game was not as close. Not as close as the score indicates. Um, I know. I just started talking about quarterbacks, and everybody wants to talk about quarterbacks. But there's a lot here. Because Steve Sarkeesian pulled his starter, as most people know by now. He pulled Quinn Ewers. And before before I get to that, with no feelings whatsoever— Let me just make sure that everyone, once again, I know it's boring. I know it's not exactly because everybody likes to watch the ball. You watch football. I learned this with my dad as an official. Everyone just watches the ball, okay? And then you miss what decides the game ultimately. So it's really, really a very simple sport. It's a one-on-one sport. Now, you're watching guys run around trying to cover each other and watching the ball, but otherwise it's a one-on-one sport, that really is no more complicated than this. When the defensive lineman can shove around the offensive lineman, whatever play you're running, don't care about what's drawn up, doesn't matter. When the guy on the defensive side can run past, run over, run through, pick up and toss, whatever necessary, the play that you're running on the offensive side no longer matters. And you know what else doesn't matter? Whoever's playing quarterback doesn't matter. When you're beaten up front in football, period, nothing else matters, you lose. You lose. You lose because everything is wrecked. That's the game. Georgia wrecked Texas up front. Talk all day about quarterbacks. Talk all day about trick plays. Talk all day about receivers. They were wrecked by the Georgia defensive front. It doesn't take a football genius to see that dude, those in particular, those two guys in white shirts, sure do run by the guys in orange shirts all the time. Yeah. Texas had no answer for the pressure. None. Uh, that's the game. And there's nothing, you, there's nothing you can do about it when that guy beats you. Nope, no play, no fix, no, ooh, try harder. You're just getting destroyed. And it decides the game. The guys rushing the passer owned the guys who were trying to protect the passer. Didn't matter if Tom Brady and Joe Montana were alternating series. Those guys whipped Texas all over the place up front. That's not exactly rocket science. Uh, Georgia's two defensive ends, Jalen Walker and Michael Williams, combined for five sacks by themselves. If you could put an asterisk next to five sacks and just say pretty much just destroyed the whole game, That's what it was. There were at least 10 quarterback pressures, and I'm being nice, and mainly because either Arch Manning ran for his life 
or Quinn Ewers chunked it away for his life. So there's some hidden stats in there that don't that don't that could tell a bigger story than just sacks and just pressures. Texas was wrecked that badly. 